that's right I'm in Japan again and uh, to be honest it's a good thing I became a pilot instead of a doctor because I hate wearing this thing like I hate wearing it I don't know about you guys anyway uh, I'm gonna grab something to eat real quick and then I'm gonna go down and let's go find some snakes and uh, looks like my wife threw spaghettios with meatballs again in uh, my suitcase so maybe I'll eat later All right, so out of the hotel, and it is chilly out here. It's probably 13 or 14 Celsius, which is about, oh, I don't know, it's the high 50s on the uh, Fahrenheit scale. It's cloudy. I don't know if you can see. It looks like it might rain. And uh, also, can you see the rice fields? Uh, they flooded the rice fields, which uh, means the frogs are going to be out. And if the frogs are out, the snakes will be out. And it looks like they flooded more than the rice fields. <laughs> I really don't have a choice. So, guess I'm going to get a little wet today. <laughs> ah, no big deal though. Um, it does look like it's going to rain soon though, so there's that. But uh, yeah, let's flip a few boards, huh? Alright, first piece. Come on, give me a snake under the first piece. Let's make it easy. Uh, or not. All right, second piece. I'll take second piece today. Nope. Carpet might be a little wet. <laughs> More than a little wet. I'll do this rock in a minute. It weighs a ton. Um, so I might have to put the camera down for that one. But this one, my best piece typically. Come on, give it to me. There we go. There we go. Forest rat snake. I'm going to grab him real quick. All right, so burrowing or forest rat snake. He's super dark looking. He's going to shed. They're typically more orangish in color, but this one you wouldn't even know is the same species really. Um, if you've seen my channel, you've seen these before. They're actually really expensive snakes in the pet trade, but you know, this guy's going to stay here. You can sort of see how cool the belly is here. I just love these snakes. But I'm going to put him back here. There's a good chance this is the only snake I'm going to find. So maybe I should spend some more time with it. Can you see him here? <laughs> yeah, he's so cold he doesn't want to leave actually. Usually they're, uh, you know, they want to go right away. But I think he's liking the warmth I'm providing for him here, so he doesn't want to take off. Which is kind of unusual for this species. Usually they're kind of a bit skittish right away and uh, they're off and running. But uh, I'm going to put him back and uh, we'll keep looking. Alright, so super stoked. Uh, burrowing or forest rat snake. I still can't pick a favorite uh, name for it, but uh, it's also a Japanese corn snake. So uh, I've still got a few more pieces to flip. Um, you know, to find one snake here is always good. To find two would be great. Uh, you know, we'll keep looking. Speaking of looking, I'm just going to flip this rock real quick. A lot of ants. A lot of ants. You can see the proximity to the airport here. There's a departure off uh, runway 34 left. And... Nothing under that piece. All right, so last time this piece had two tiger keelbacks under it, and I don't have my hook today. So, and there's one over there. All right, there was one right over here. Um, we'll see what I can do here. They are venomous and poisonous, and I'll probably try and get him out, but we'll see. I gotta set, set the camera down, though. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this. I set the camera down. There's a lot of grass in front of it. But there he is. And I'll grab him. He's going to shed as well. I got to be a little careful again. These are a venomous snake. And since he's going to shed, he can't see very well. So I don't want any mistakes here. So hold on. I'll get just a little video and then let him go. Alright, so I put him in the grass. 
you can see how fast they go. Uh, if you've seen my channel, you've seen this before. This might be the same snake I actually saw last time. So I'm not going to mess with him. Again, he's going to shed. That's why he's so dull. They're typically kind of red up by the neck. But let's put him back, huh? All right, so he stopped real quick, and he's going to go for the defensive posture, hoping I'll bite him, because <laughs> that's when he secretes the poison on top of his neck. But I just want to move him back, so I'll probably get his stick and get him and uh, move him back. Hold on. He actually started to move. So I'm going to grab him real quick, and let's put him back, huh? I'll just put him up on top. He'll go back under. There he goes. All right, a few raindrops starting to come in here. Uh, snake number two, tiger keelback. Uh, both snakes in sheds, so I didn't really mess with them too much. Um, again, that one's venomous and poisonous, so I will wash my hands afterward. There's a few more pieces I'll keep looking. I don't know if I'll find anything else, but let's look. Somewhere over here. <laughs> this gets overgrown so fast. Ah, and there's thorns. There's never anything under this, but I always look, but nothing. There's a few pieces over here I'm going to take a look at real quick. I really don't have luck with these. So maybe I'll move them someday somewhere else. There's a bunch of them here, and I don't even bother with most of them, to be honest. Just because every time I flip them, there's nothing under them. One of these days there will be, I guess. But that day might not be today. They look good, they're nice and warm. Just no snakies. Come on, snakes. Ooh, where are you? All right, guys, well, just the two snakes. I almost feel like I'm letting you guys down. Um, lately, it's been so crazy in Southern California, I've found so many snakes. Um, normally, I'd be pretty happy with two snakes. What I'll probably do here is I'll cut in some footage from Southern California. In fact, that's what I'll do. I was out in the uh, low desert cruising recently, and uh, this is what we found. All right. Well, I can't exactly show you that footage because I've already used it. If you saw my last video, uh, you've seen everything I was going to add in this video. I do have a bit of a treat for you guys, though. A friend of mine, Chris Shannon, he also goes by Chris Sweet. I'm sure you know who he is. He has a few King Cobras, and I will warn you real quick, you know, if handling venomous snakes offends you in any way, you may not want to watch it. That said, I've already handled a venomous snake earlier in this video. But, uh, you know, I'm not saying to do this, I'm just saying, you know, this is kind of cool, so you might want to check it out. How many King Cobras do you have? Fifteen. <laughs> He's going to get out one of his <laughs> fifteen King Cobras. Um, yeah, so let's take a look. And how big is this one? She's about seven feet. About seven feet, so just a baby. <laughs> hey, she just shed as well. Did she? Let me close the door. So here we go. Uh huh. <laughs> king Cobra. No big deal. Now, here's what's funny. There's a, like, there's a king cobra here on the table, and you're just over here, what are you, texting back there? What's going on, Laura? Like, you know, no, 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 just, no big deal, right? Like, it's, you know. I know what it's doing. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. I mean, I, I think it's kind of funny. Yeah. It's just another day. And how old would you say this one is? She's only two years and one month old. Really? But they do grow quite fast. Yeah. This is probably my most chilled out king, which is... Also, one of my most curious. Uh oh. oh yeah, if you touch them back here, that's when they hood up. Oh, really? Yeah, that's how. Which huh. is not actually like in defense mode. It just right, it just, it just triggers that response, huh? Mm. Can't do that again. 
And oftentimes I'll hood up to like scope around. Trying to find some food in there. Yeah, I was wondering if she sees the other snakes in there. It's incredible to feel them breathe. It's incredible to touch them in general. Yeah. That's awesome. Going to that eyelash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's like. Yeah, she's like. Wait a minute, there's a meal in here. <laughs> I'm not gonna knock all Wow. Well, thanks for sharing this one. Yeah, no problem. All right. So, uh, yeah, King Cobra. Uh, again, these are extremely venomous animals. I don't recommend anybody to pick one up or handle one. Uh, I'm just trying to share the beauty here. Chris obviously has been handling these snakes for a long, long time, and uh, he knows what he's doing. That said, you know, anybody that handles a venomous snake obviously puts themselves at risk, but they're calculated risks. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and uh, we'll see you.